This is a Shaco valve, this is the body and this is the electrical part. To take it apart and clean it you need to remove the electrical part first. You can do that in situ because it's quite simple. You undo this nut which you can do with a spanner but in this case this is only done up finger tight. Remove that, pop it aside and pull off the electrical part and you're left showing the sleeve inside which is the piston. Now we're going to remove this plate by removing these two screws. They're small so you need to look after them. My screwdriver's slightly magnetised. Here we are, and you slide off the plate. Now you remove the sleeve that holds the piston by giving it a bit of a waggle and a pull. And there, you can see the piston and the sleeve, and the piston can come out of the sleeve like this. And those are all the component parts. If you look inside the body you can see two small holes. The fluid comes in through this nozzle and comes out through the small hole on your right hand side. Normally the spring holds the piston against that central hole and keeps it closed. When there's an electrical pulse through the electrical part, it creates a magnetic field which attracts the piston and pulls it in that direction and allows the fluid to flow down that central hole. As soon as the electrical pulse disappears, the spring pushes the piston back against that little hole and stops the fluid flow. There's a groove down either side of the piston and there's a hole down the middle and a tiny little hole in there. It's a good idea to make sure that that spring is free. It is actually clamped at this end to hold it in place. It's now a good idea to give it all a thorough wash. You could do this under a tap but that would require me, if I was going to do that, to have to do two different lots of filming. Now I'm going to dry them off with a tissue. making sure that this face is clean and I'm going to clean inside the body with the tissue. To make sure that that is clean. Now we're going to put it back together again. Piston fits inside the sleeve and you should make sure that, that it moves freely. It doesn't matter where the grooves lie they can be anywhere. Then place the piston and the sleeve back into the body. There's a rubber ring there that's going to help to grip it. Put the plate back on making sure that the countersinks are on the right way round. And put the screws back. Loosely first. Just tight.
just tight and then securely. Then you put the electrical part back. Which way does it go? That way. Do that up tight. <clears throat> doesn't matter if that wobbles a bit, it doesn't affect the performance in any way. There you are. Job done.